Oh, gosh, so many Vegas vloggers to watch here. I don't know how Vegas Visual does this every week. It's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. Hey there Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So it's been quite the journey for us these last almost four years here on YouTube. We've been through giant casino lawsuits, official YouTube partnerships, COPA regulations, grand openings of casinos, and even the grand closing of Las Vegas itself, among a couple other mergers and little things like that. But I'm definitely not the first or only Vegas vlogger to start covering these sorts of things. Granted, I have something of a pull around the My Vegas content, but other than that, there's a whole multitude of other players in the game. And quite a few of those players have actually inspired me to go even further than what I wanted to do initially with the channel. So now I want to share with you guys the top 11 Vegas vloggers that inspired Ace of Vegas to be the channel it is today. Why top 11? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond! So here are the rules for this list over here. These are all going to be vloggers I started watching before Ace of Vegas became a channel. So while there are plenty of other inspiring content creators out there, you may not see them on the list. And it's not that I don't love Hagen Tucent, or Las Vegas and Beyond, or Vegas Tips and Tricks, or Matt Bruger, or Not Leaving Las Vegas, or Chubby in a Way, or a multitude of other channels I could list for hours. It's just that I discovered these channels and creators first, and they've really shaped the way I've created the vlogs and the type of content that I like to do. So without further ado, here are my top 11 most influential Las Vegas vloggers. Yellow Productions. Chris and Topher have been on YouTube for well over a decade now. While Chris is more of a general travel vlogger, his videos in Las Vegas were videos that got me started with him. I think it was his top 7 free Las Vegas shows that did it, but my favorite is his top 5 worst Las Vegas hotels on the strip. He's so influential that I've actually subconsciously adopted not only yellow as the primary color in my thumbnails, but apparently the same font too. He's charming and comfortable in front of the camera, so Chris is a great channel to watch if you're not already subscribed. He's relatively family friendly too, so that's a boon, and he offers other travel destinations that aren't Vegas. So Yellow Productions slides in at number 11. I've long said that Vegas eats are an essential thing, and that's what All You Can Vegas focuses on. Hosted by Vegas locals Derek and Catherine, All You Can Vegas is described as exploring the world's best food, restaurants, and all-you-can-eat buffets. Price points be damned, they'll check out any eatery on or off the strip. They review the food fairly and honestly, and try to get as much of the menu as possible for a fair assessment which is something I really appreciate. Over the last five years, they've managed to publish over 300 great videos about food in one of the greatest food cities of all time. And reviewing restaurants is partially what inspired me to start recording my comp restaurant reviews, as well as the paid ones, dishing out a 10th place spot on my list of influences. Living in Las Vegas. Erica Craig and Little Colin, well, he's not so little anymore, I suppose, have been in the Vegas vlogging game exclusively for about a decade. And while they weren't always focused on the touristy stuff, they've become an amazing resource for tourists looking to come to Vegas and plan a good time with their families. I think the tour of the Riviera they did way back in 2016 is what attracted me to the channel in the first place, and I've been watching ever since. I vaguely remember hearing that this was originally supposed to be a real estate channel, and you can tell on the name, but I think it's much stronger as a Vegas vlog channel happily leaving this three-piece ensemble to number nine. Walter's World. Mark is a favorite of mine, partially on the merit that he's a college professor. I, of course, have a soft spot for teachers. But what I really like about Walter's World is the formatting of the videos. They're straightforward and informative. The first one of Mark's videos that I did see was a series about Las Vegas called The Top 10 Things in Las Vegas That Will Shock You. Despite a somewhat provocative name in that video specifically, those were still some pretty surprising points and I've watched the whole series several times. Mark doesn't have much Vegas content, but the playlist he does have is pretty great, leaving Walter on World 8 in the solar system of influential Vegas vloggers. 
Richard Wilk. Okay, this one's a little bit of a cheat, but hear me out. Now, Richard's relatively new to the Vegas YouTube game, but what he's put out has been pretty cool. And not just on YouTube, Richard's actually been in the Vegas vlogging game for decades, and he's been on screen long before YouTube was even an app. Louis Thoreau, Pawn Stars, and my personal favorite, The Casino, where I initially discovered him. Richard's got the style and charisma that really influenced how I dress on camera. So if you're looking for a great guy to take you behind the scenes of the industry, then there's plenty of what he does on YouTube for you to enjoy. And for that, Wilk takes the 007 spot on the list. The Living in Las Vegas Video Podcast. The signature live stream of the Vegas Video Network, the Not Leaving Las Vegas Video Podcast, was one of two major influences on how I formatted the hashtag Vegas Podcast, the other being a local morning show here in Denver, but we'll discuss that another time. Anyway, I've spent several lunch hours and parts of my commute listening in on Scott and Wayne's adventures. I remember the first episode I watched was an older one featuring the late great Brett Grant. Then I was hooked from there. The hit favorite spots and covered both tourists and local aspects of Vegas culture. The segment hasn't been on the Vegas Video Network's channel for about two years now, and there's no apparent return of its YouTube-facing form. The host Scott Whitney has moved on to a different, more business-focused podcast called the Sell Yourself Fearlessly one. It's still pretty good too, but not the party podcast that inspired my own. Regardless, the show was iconic enough to make number six in our rankings. The Vegas Paradise. Tim has both been an amazing presenter and friend for the years I've known him. I only first met him in person on my birthday of last year, during the Great Vegas Shutdown of 2020. But anytime I've looked for a hotel room video, he's had it. Caesars, MGM, Independent Properties, or Hilton, you name it, my man's got it. He has an informative, straightforward, no-nonsense approach to room tours that he's maintained to this day. And, well, he's all sorts of chill. His room tours are part of what inspired me to start filming my free rooms with my Vegas, in addition to another channel on this list. And he's really got the best presenter's voice on the platform. I mean, come on, just listen to the guy. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Looking back, I think the first video I remember seeing of TVPs was his best nightclubs in Vegas, but the real staying power has always been with his room tours, putting the Vegas paradise at a well-earned halfway point on the list. Jewels at Top Buffet I remember surfing through some My Vegas rewards some five years ago and stumbling on a review of the MGM Grand Buffet, and that kind of sold me on it, though I was encouraged to go for the dinner one. Jules actually did YouTube as more of a secondary thing, using it as a visual medium to present her reviews on her website, top-buffet.com. In addition to pure buffet reviews and critiques, you'd find room tours, hotel tours, and events sprinkled in every once in a while. She'd even pop in a My Vegas reward review or two from time to time. Sadly, Jules hasn't been to Vegas in quite some time, largely due to the pandemic, and hasn't updated the channel in over a year. But with the general lack of buffets in Vegas, this is probably a good time for a hiatus. Still, the videos are there, and the memories are too, placing Jules at Top Dash Buffet into our number 4 spot. Kenji Yagi Shining up the bronze medal is Kenji Yagi. Kenji popped up on my radar because of one video he made way back in March of 2017. He used an old classic Vegas technique called the $20 trick. You may or may not have fallen for a few of my clickbaity thumbnails on the subject in the past, but he really popularized them. It was always a blast watching the videos, not just for the actual room tour, but for the story associated with it. The way he describes the interactions with staff at check-in was always engaging and often hilarious. I think my favorite was the Cosmo story where he makes a Home Alone joke and has cutouts of Tim Curry representing the check-in manager. <laughs> Seriously, go watch it yourself. The whole concept of Kenji's channel is focused on having a good time and saving money. And, well, the only person that likes saving money more than me in general is Pennies for Vegas, so you can see how this concept influenced my liberal use of the My Vegas app for extra comps. Sadly, Kenji hasn't updated his channel in a couple years either, so this is just another pick for the memory books. Hopefully he'll see this one, and maybe get back to the content someday. 
Danny702 has some of the most fun and informative hotel tours in all of Vegas. My journey with Danny started back in 2017 when she visited the oldest original hotel on the Las Vegas Strip, the Flamingo. And from there to the Lucky Dragon's grand closing, Monte Carlo's remodel, and everything in between, Danny's been there. She's got a good sense of humor and seems to like to inject her videos with goofy pop culture references too, which is something I seem to have picked up myself. The addition of some history and stats really made her tours come to life, and they encouraged me to flex my Vegas trivia myself. While Denny's still on YouTube, she doesn't do Vegas content anymore and has shifted to the other half of the tourism spectrum in sunny California, featuring mostly Disney and Universal Studios in her content. But like the 702 moniker, Danny still sticks in the minds of Vegas vlog fans to this day, and influenced me enough to make her second place. Jacob's Life in Vegas I'll be astonished if you didn't guess this one. Jacob Orth from Jacob's Life in Vegas is the number one influence on Apes of Vegas on this list. And with over 1200 videos and a solid 8 years on the platform, are you the least bit surprised? Oddly, I didn't find Jacob through the main channel at first. I actually found him through the now defunct Jacob's Adult Playground, where he took on the slightly racier side of Vegas. He also covered General Vegas tourism news and put his channel together just on the concept of moving to Las Vegas. Having such a broad range with a relatively small niche and just being overall fun made the channel easy to grow and he's now a mainstay to this day. I've had a chance to hang out with him and even collaborate on some videos from time to time and it's been a great experience. Needless to say, Jacob's life in Vegas really paved the way for me and encouraged me to develop my channel and niche beyond my Vegas slots. And that's why my friend and yours has made it to the top of this list. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Are you a Vegas vlogger? And if so, what's been your biggest inspiration to start your channel? And if you're not, what channel got you into watching Vegas content on YouTube anyway? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. But before I go, in addition to all these great YouTubers, I wanted to take a minute to thank my Patreon members. Guys, it means the galaxy to me that you'd make the choice to support me financially in these endeavors, and it's going a long way to helping the channel grow. If you'd like a more direct hand in supporting Ace of Vegas, then you can check out my Patreon page in the description box down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Las Vegas!